Tron Air, the most trusted name in aircraft ground support equipment. Hello, welcome to our Tron Air HBU test facility. Today we're going to be going over training, uh, commissioning, and operation of our Tron Air hydraulic power units. Prior to shipment, every one of our HPUs is tested here in our test facility to ensure high quality and that the unit's ready for operation as soon as it arrives at your facility. When the Tron Air HPU arrives, the first step you're going to do for commissioning is fill the hydraulic reservoir with the correct aviation hydraulic fluid as notified on several placards on the unit and the serial number as well. So to fill the, the hydraulic reservoir, you'll remove the filler cap, place the correct fluid in the reservoir, and observe the fluid level on the fluid sight gauge on the front of the unit. Now since we're in the test facility, we have the sheet metal removed for this unit for testing, uh, but there'll be a cutout to see this unit, as well as labels for a high level and a low level. So to fill the reservoir, you put it in through this filtered cap, and you'll fill the reservoir up until it's between that high and low reservoir level. After filling the unit, it's critical to have the hydraulic selector valve in the HPU position, which is the horizontal position. For commissioning, we're going to operate in this horizontal HPU mode to pull fluid from the reservoir uh, while servicing and commissioning the unit. During standard operation, your AMM or procedures may dictate operating either in HPU position or vertically in the aircraft reservoir position, but for commissioning, we'll be operating in HPU mode. After servicing the hydraulic reservoir, you'll take your cable and have a qualified electrician install the plug on the electrical cable so that you can power the hydraulic power plant. After installing the electrical plug onto the cable, you'll have the qualified electrician verify that the voltage and amperage and uh, frequency selected on the unit match the hanger voltage that you'll be connecting to. After verifying that you have the correct hanger voltage, you'll plug the unit in and prepare to operate and check the motor rotation of the unit. So before checking the motor rotation, we'll need to configure the HPU for operation without connecting to your aircraft. So again, we'll have the hydraulic reservoir selector valve in the hydraulic power unit position. We'll ensure that the bypass valve is fully open to prevent any pressure buildup in the unit during operation. So fully open is gonna be turned fully counterclockwise until the valve will no longer turn. After verifying those two items, we'll go to the back of the unit to check the ball valves. After ensuring that the bypass valve is open, for commissioning, we'll ensure that all ball valves are closed. Ball valves are closed when they're in the horizontal position as shown on the label at the rear of the unit. Ball valves are open when they're in the vertical position along the flow path of the hoses. So for commissioning, we'll ensure that both our pressure and return ball valves are fully closed. If you have an option such as the crossover check or pressure reducing relieving valve, your ball valve on the pressure system will be a needle valve. To ensure that the needle valve is fully closed and your pressure system is closed, you'll turn these needle valves clockwise until they are fully in and the pressure system is closed. So we have all four ball valves closed at this time for commissioning. So after verifying that your hydraulic valves are in the correct locations, you're connected to the hanger power, you're ready to start the HPU and verify motor rotation. In order to verify motor rotation, you'll look through a window or through the uh, bottom door on the front cabinet of the HPU to verify the spinning rotation of the motor. The bypass valve will be open. We're in the HPU selector valve HPU position and our ball valves on the rear are closed. To check motor rotation, we'll quickly hit start and then immediately hit the stop button and through our window, verify the spinning rotation of the motor, ensuring that that ro motor rotation matches correctly to the label on the unit to ensure proper orientation. Again, if you do not have the correct motor rotation, the qualified electrician can switch any of the two, uh, two of the three electrical leads within the electrical box to change that motor rotation and ensure you're in phase and with proper motor rotation. If you have the voltage phase monitor option, this item will verify phase and motor rotation for you by lighting up if you're in the incorrect uh, phase and motor rotation. So if you hit start and this light comes on and the unit does not spin the motor, you know that the voltage, uh, the phase is incorrect and you need to switch two of the three leads. After verifying the phase and rotation of the motor, 
you're ready to do a visual inspection of the unit, including the external hoses, to ensure that there was no wear and tear during shipping, and that you're ready to connect to the aircraft. At this point, you've completed the commissioning, and you're ready to operate the unit on the aircraft after being trained and reading the operating service manual. For more information, contact product support at tronair.com or call 419-866-6301.